Happy 2009, everyone. I hope you'll see a lot of me this year because I'm hoping to see a lot of you. Since so many people have been asking, I'm going to talk about celiac disease a little bit more after the whole Project for Awesome thing. A lot of people have been asking uh, more about it, mostly. Um, but it seems like most people have been asking what happens when I actually eat gluten. Some people were even so bold as to ask me if I would eat gluten on camera and then videotape my, you know, reaction to it. So, no, I'm not going to do that. Making myself physically sick for your enjoyment is kind of sadistic. But I will tell you what happens when I eat gluten. And it's not lovely, so those with sensitive ears or sensitive stomachs might want to not listen. So basically, celiac disease is an intestinal-only disease. Like, it's, uh, the whole reaction is in my intestinal tract, digestive system, which is unfortunate because when I do consume bits of gluten, like if it's on accident or say I'm really hungry and all that's there is like bread or something and I have to eat, then basically what happens is my small intestine can't digest it and like my absorption, like you know how, well this is really hard to explain, but um, you know how when you eat you absorb the nutrients from your food in your digestive system? Well, what happens is since I can't digest it, it basically won't let me absorb the nutrients from the food, I guess. It's hard to explain. But, um, basically it ruins my intestinal tract for like a week. Um, and I don't really want to get into it, so if you really want to know, you can private message me or, um, yeah, because I don't really want to say it on camera, because it's gross. Here are some things not to do when you're friends with someone with celiac disease. One, don't offer them bread or pasta or cake or anything. That's just rude. And, you know, sometimes people forget, but you should do your best to try to remember that, yes, your friends have allergies and can't eat that. Two, don't think that I can give you celiac disease by sitting next to you, because it doesn't work that way. Three, don't eat something with gluten in it in front of me. Like, I don't care if you, like, are at a party and say there's pizza and you're eating it, but don't be like, Mmm, pizza, this is yummy, I wish you could have some. Oh wait, you can't. Because that's just being an asshole. And four, try to be at least a little bit understanding when your friends say, oh, I can't eat at this restaurant because they don't have anything that's gluten free. Because imagine if you couldn't eat anything in a restaurant where all your friends were there, and then you just sat there and drank a glass of water. That sucks. So basically, just with celiac disease, be courteous to someone. That's really the bottom line, is have respect for someone when they've got an issue that you don't have, and just be nice about it. I mean, there's nothing worse than being at a party where everyone is eating and you're sitting there munching on carrot sticks. Trust me, that's happened more than enough times to count. Sorry if I sound a little bit like a jerk, but I'm just a little fed up of people misconceiving celiac disease. I mean, it's really not that bad, but it's annoying. So guys, I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to get going. I think I'll have some gluten-free pasta or pizza or something that I can make myself at home. There are a lot of gluten-free products out there now, so it's really not as hard as it used to be. Um, but yeah, just remember, be respectful, and if you guys want some more information, go on over. I'll put a link in the sidebar over here somewhere uh, for uh, the Celiac Disease Foundation, and you can learn more about it. Thanks, guys.